Ahora que tal, seguimos con los videos. En este caso corresponde al grupo de cuarto grado. Uh, espero que no se oiga tan mal. Ya ve que la cabita del vecino está a ladre y ladre. Esperemos que no interrumpa mucho. Uh, básicamente, ya hemos empezado con algunos de los temas de cuarto grado. Empezamos viendo cómo ofrecer ayuda, cómo pedir ayuda. Los alumnos ya tienen apuntes en sus libretas, inclusive algunos de ellos. Eh, logré avanzar, según recuerdo, un poco más con el grupo de cuarto B que con el grupo de cuarto A. Sin embargo, pues vamos a retomarlo desde un principio y espero que les sea provechoso para todos. Gracias de antemano por la atención. Padres de familia, principalmente gracias a ustedes. Ojalá que nos puedan ayudar para que los alumnos estén al pendiente y puedan resolver lo que vayan planteando de los niños. Gracias. Bueno, pues lo primero que quiero compartir con ustedes es básicamente lo que tenemos en este instante en pantalla. Tenemos nosotros eh, la necesidad de elaborar al final de esto un producto. El producto es lo que vemos por acá arriba. Es un póster con un diálogo ilustrado. Poster with an illustrated eh, dialogue. Lo que van a hacer aquí los alumnos al final de esta unidad es hacer una especie de póster con una cartulina. La cartulina puede ser eh, la mitad de la cartulina para que no sea muy grande, en el cual ellos van a poner un pequeño diálogo donde haya alguna situación, un problema, y en el cual alguien pida ayuda u ofrezca ayuda en su defecto. Eh, también vamos a estar viendo esto, las escuchar y expresar eh, necesidades inmediatas y prácticas. Para esto, tenemos que decir que nosotros ya habíamos empezado viendo estos dos temas, insisto. Ask for help, offer help. A partir de este instante cambiamos al idioma inglés, Ojalá que les podamos ser de utilidad. Gracias. Ok, so for example, here we have two situations in which we need to ask for help or offer help. What is ask for help? It's when you have a problem and you need someone to help you. Do you remember what help is in Spanish, right? Now tell me, what is help in Spanish? That's right. Ayuda. Help. In this case, the boy put his head through this uh, window and he got stuck. He's in front of the little bird and he's having problems. He's asking for help. What kind of expressions will he use to ask for help? Probably the first one. Help. Help, mom. Help me, mom. Something like that. Because normally when we are children, We ask for help from our mothers. This is tough. Now in the second one, we see this little woman, this woman, excuse me, uh, she's blonde, she has glasses, she's carrying a big bag, she's carrying a baby, and she's having problems because she cannot fall in this bus. Probably it's the subway, probably it's the metro, probably it's a bus, we don't know. But these children are here, or excuse me, this child is here, He's, he's sitting and he's standing up, raising his hand, and probably he's offering help to the woman, telling something like, would you like to take my seat or something like that. Do you do that when you have that kind of situation? Do you help someone? Do you offer help? That will be good. Okay, let's move to the next one. We're going to remember a few things that we have done so far, okay? Remember that. Now, I remember that we did something like this in class with 4b cuarto b we did this now i'm not sure if i did this with 4a i have to be very very frank on this i can't remember now now i need you to do this we have here several kind of expressions giving thanks saying farewells asking for help offering help and greetings and you need to identify which of these are these categories giving thanks will be number one hi there hey if so you're going to write the number one here in the box okay now number two could i help you yes please is this giving thanks or saying farewells asking for help offering help greetings number three would you mind closing that window not at all is that Giving thanks, saying farewells, asking for help, or offering help, or greetings. You will write that. Okay? Now, 
This is something that I'm going to do in the following uh, videos as well as I'm going to do now. We're going to pause it. Le voy a pausar. I'm going to pause this. Y le voy a dar a usted. I'm going to give you some time so you can solve this. Le voy a dar tiempo para que lo solucione, para que lo resuelva. Remember, you're going to write the numbers from 1 to 5 in these boxes. You're going to write them depending on this. Here we go. Let's make a pause. Time is running. Finish this one, okay? We're going to check if you solved it correctly. These are the answers. Greetings. Greetings. Number one. Offering help. Number two. Asking for help. Would you mind closing the window? Number four. Giving thanks. You are so kind. Thanks. Number five. Saying farewells. See you. Bye. Sometimes we forget basic words like farewell. Let me show you. Farewells. Farewells is like this. Farewells is like this. You're saying goodbye. That is a farewell. Greetings, on the other hand. Greetings, the number one. Greetings is like this. When you're greeting someone. Okay? So, please keep that in mind. Because this is something that you should know by now. You're in the fourth grade. So, you need to go and practice this a lot. Okay? Let's finish this one and go to the next exercise. This exercise is for you to solve it. You're going to find this situation. I'm not sure where should I point. I think I'm going to point uh, to this side, I think. This side, I'm not sure. I'm not good at this. So, you have this situation. The situation that you have here is very simple. You have this woman here. She has a cast in or on her feet not her feet her foot it's just one she has it on her foot and she's having some kind of problems because she's going to this place she's going up she's going down which of these would be the right answer for this one you're going to write the number here can i help you cross the street could you pass this brush do you need help? Could you help me with this bag? Could you help me climb the stairs? Help us, please. One of these is the correct one. Probably you will think that you have two answers for this, but you need to think which is the best answer. Puede ser que encuentres dos respuestas para esto, pero una de ellas es la más apropiada. Choose the right one. Elige la correcta, okay? Here we go. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Think. Solve it. Don't cheat. No hagas trampa. No adelantes. Wait. Solve it. Here we go. If you say number five, you are right. That is the correct answer. Could you help me climb the stairs? Could you help me climb the stairs? Now, is this a request for help? Is this asking for help or offering help? Es esto para pedir ayuda o para ofrecer ayuda. What is this? What is this? You're right. He's asking for help. Está pidiendo ayuda. Could you help me climb the stairs? Stairs are this. Okay, let's do another one. Now we have the situation. We have a blind man and we have this kid. I think we did that in class. Uh, in class, we did that one. Can I help you cross the street? Could you pass me the brush? Do you need help? Could you help me with this bag? Could you help me climb the stairs? Help us, please. Which one is the correct one? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to solve this. Okay, think about the number that should be here. There you go. This is the one. Can I help you cross the street? Street. This is the street, okay? This is a street, so that's the one. Let's do another one. Now here we have two children. They are crying. 
they're crying because the cat is on the top of the tree. So they're crying. What is the one that you should write here? What will be the number? Think about it. You are right. This is the correct one. Help us, please. They are crying for help. They need help. Now, do you, do you, uh, uh, probably you should be thinking that number three could be good as well. Do you need help? Well, that will be okay if someone would be asking them. But in this case, it's a crying for help. They are asking for help. Let's do the next one. Here we have an old lady, she's carrying a lot of bags, so she's this girl is doing something. She's helping her, of course. Now, which of this is the correct answer? Think about it. There you go. The answer is, could you help me with this bag? Could you help me with this bag? The woman is asking for help. Could you help me with this bag? And the child, the little girl, is helping her. Okay, I hope that by now you are ready and done with this. Let's work with our book. We should go to page number 73. We will start there. We will not do all the exercises. No vamos a hacer todos los ejercicios. Uh, this book is a little complex. Este libro es un poquito más complejo. Has many, many pages about the same, and they are a little bit dense. Son un poquito denses las páginas que tiene. So we are going to choose most of them, but we are not going to solve all of them. Vamos a escoger algunos de ellos, la mayoría, pero no vamos a resolverlos todos. So the first thing here is that we have this situation. This person is lost. He's carrying a map. Okay, let's start working in page number 73. Saca tu libro, busca la página 73, vamos a estar encontrando situaciones en las cuales va a haber pausas para que tú puedas resolver. Trata de no hacer trampa, no te adelantes, trata de contestar cada una de ellas. Try to solve each one of them, ok? Don't cheat. Ok, here we go. Page number 74. The first one, here. I am going to say some sentences and you're going to tell me the order. You're going to write the numbers here. You're going to write the numbers here. Okay, one, two, three, four. I am going to read these sentences so you can listen to me and write the numbers. This should be really, really easy for you. This is a listening exercise. Number one. Can you open this for me? Can you open this for me? Number two. Could you help me, please? Could you help me, please? Number three, let me try, let me try. Number four, I can help you if you want, I can help you if you want. Let's see what you did, okay? Let's check that. If you didn't finish, I'm going to give you a few seconds so you can solve it. Don't cheat. Make the pause and answer in your book. Okay, here are the answers. Number one, can you open this for me? Number two, could you help me please? Number three, let me try. Number four, I can help you if you want. Okay, now, the next exercise that we are going to do is to write the sentences here. We are going to write them here. Write. Do you remember what write is? Escribir. You need to remember that all the time. Now you are a fourth grader. Solo te de esto porque ya estás en cuarto grado. We have practiced this with all year. Y hemos practicado esto todo el año. Así que es importante que lo resuelvas. Que no olvides las palabras. Es muy importante. Vas a escribir ahorita aquí, en estos dos puntos, las oraciones que están en el ejercicio 3. You're going to write. Remember this. I need to do this. Write. Writing. Write. Please, remember that, because I am not going to repeat this one more. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds so you can answer that. Pause so you can solve it. And this is what you should have. I can help you. 
you want. 